13 Action News Update sponsored by Bell Medical. I'm Trisha Keen. Right now on your 13 Action News Update, a big showing of support from the community and Raiders fans. According to the GoFundMe page set up by Tina Tintor's family, they have received more than $98,000 to help with funeral and memorial expenses. The goal was just $7,000. We reported last week that the Black Hole Las Vegas chapter donated to the GoFundMe. The Raiders release another player. The team is cutting ties with cornerback Damon Arnett. Now, he was recently seen in a social media video threatening people. That comes after lawsuits were fired, filed against the former first round pick. He was drafted the same year as Henry Ruggs, who was arrested for that deadly DUI crash. A Henderson police officer is on the wrong side of the law tonight. Police say 38 year old Zachary Winningham was arrested this weekend for domestic battery. It's a misdemeanor offense and officers say it's also his first offense. He'd been with the city of Henderson since 2017. He is now on paid leave while officers investigate. A quick storm system moving through on Tuesday, and that means temperatures are cooling off and will wake up to a bit of cloud cover. Even an isolated rain chance first thing Tuesday, it's only about 10%, so not much of an issue for the morning commute, but a few sprinkles on the windshield, certainly possible. That cloud cover clears for the second half of the day as the cooler air filters in. That means highs are falling to the mid 70s under a mostly sunny sky by the late afternoon as that breeze stays consistent. Gusts up to 25 miles per hour on Tuesday, but the wind speeds calm and the sky stays clear for the rest of the week. We're looking at sunshine through the weekend as our highs climb back above the seasonal average. We're close to uh, 80 degrees again by Saturday. And that was your 13 Action News update. You can always get the latest news at KTNV.com.